This is the kind of news I love to report about. This is the kind of things I like talking about on my channel. I don't know if you guys are familiar with EFCC. Yes, I bet you guys know EFCC. But do you know the head of EFCC, Ibrahim Magu? The dreaded, most fearless man, one of the most fearless men in Nigeria, the EFCC chairman. Where they come for you, <laughs> nobody can save you they are like the hunter but right now the hunter has become has become the hunted and uh, what we are hearing today is that the efcc chairman ibrahim magu has been arrested by the dss over alleged corruption of course we know this for a long time a lot of nigerians already knew that this man is corrupted well i don't know but a lot of nigerians knew this man is corrupted you know in this country is getting to a point that you need to be careful about what you report about about the things that you report about because anything can happen in this country anything at all can happen i get i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about Currently, the EFCC chairman has been arrested, according to how it's written on the news. Let me just read it. Acting chairman of EFCC, Ibrahim Magu, has been arrested by the Department of State and Service. His arrest comes a few days after Abubakar Malami, Attorney General of the Federation, accused him of gross infractions. He was arrested over allegations that he owned four properties and that he was allegedly transferring funds abroad through a third party. According to a report, the FCC chief traveled to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates without the authorization of the president during the COVID-19 COVID lockdown. During COVID-19 lockdown, this man still have access to travel. While the re back then on one of my videos, I said that this lockdown that we are seeing, the government saying okay, lockdown, it's not meant for them, it's meant for us. Them, they still have access to travel. Just imagine, why is it that this Dubai is their playing ground? Anybody, any anybody that has money that have stolen money, the first thing it goes, the first the first place it goes to is Dubai. The first place he invests in is Dubai. I want to know the reason why. Well, we're going to come there later. And when he was queried for going to Dubai, he said he went for an investigation. He also allegedly to be living above his means. Of course, we already know that. A lot of government officials, a lot of uh, um, uh, government employees, a lot of uh, people who had the opportunity, politicians, of course, they are all living above their means. You see them buy private jet, buying book, uh, Ferrari, all those kind of stuff. They are all living above their means. And we know why. People keep coming out saying, oh, this person is living above, he's a government official, he's living above his means. You and I know where they are getting their money from. We shouldn't be su surprised. It's the constituency money, the money meant for your development in your constituency, your, in your community. Those are the money is using to flex. So don't act surprised. And also, okay, the DSS in 2016 report revealed that the accused, the accused was living in a 40 million mansion paid by one Umar Muhammad, a retired head commando who is allegedly involved in shading deals. In December 20, 2010, the Police Service Commission found Mago guilty of actions to state security, withholding of EFCC files, sabotage unauthorized removal of EFCC files, and act on becoming of a police officer, and awarded himself several contracts. Mago is currently occupying a resident rented for 40 million at 20 million per annum a resident meant to be 20 million per annum rated for 20 million but this guy is paying 40 million per annum he doubled the price the accommodation was not paid for for from 
the accommodation was not paid for from the commissioned finance, but by one Omar Muhammad, her commando retired, a questionable businessman who has subsequently been arrested by the service, that by, by the secret service. For the furnishing of the resident, Marco enlisted the Federal Capital Development Authority to award a contract to the Africa Energy Company hold by the same Mohammed to furnish the resident at the cost of 43 million naira. Investigations show that the acting EFCC chairman regularly embarked on official and private trips through a private jet owned by Mohammed. In one of the trips, Mago flew to Maduguri alongside Mohammed with a bank MD who was being investigated by the EFCC over complicit in the fund allegedly stolen by the immediate past petroleum minister Deziani Alison Madukia, the EFCC reported, the DSS reported, sorry. First thing, guys, why do all those politicians love to invest in Dubai? because Dubai economy welcomed everybody. Then why did they then allow the FBI to arrest Osh Poppy then? If they allow that kind of thing to happen in Dubai, they allow all sorts of criminals, all sorts of uh, people who have stolen money from their countries to come to Dubai to invest, to invest. then why did they just give Osh Poppy as a sacrifice to, AF, to FBI? And the interpol why then because a lot of politicians who stole from africa go there to invest their money go there to buy a lot of properties but then you are allowing fcc to arrest person like monfa you allow them to arrest somebody like osh puppy you know this life like i have said before this life no balance oh. this life is not balanced at all it's not balanced at all. This life, when you are not like, when you, they don't have any need for you, they just push you aside. Human being makes the laws and they break the law too. So it's quite unfortunate that EFC, uh, that somebody like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, it's quite unfortunate for people like EFCC in their own way. I'm not talking about me. It's quite unfortunate for them that they have been sacrificed to FBI and the Interpol because we know we have a lot of politicians. But the money being mentioned on this case is small money compared to what our politicians are actually taking. You cannot tell me Magu just uh, been accused of 43 million naira, 40 million naira. No, no, no. I don't want to say anything that I don't know, but we all know that that man, all those CFCC people, they collect bribe. They do collect bribe. Monfa today came, they arrested him and they freed him. If uh, EFCC were able to extradite uh, uh, Hush Puppy to Nigeria, Hush Puppy will be working freely by now. Or let me say in a month's time, a few months' time, Hush Puppy will be working freely. We all know all those things, guys. You know that, that we all know. But, well, that is what they are reporting now. I want thing is that I don't know why they are arresting this guy. Is it that he no longer doing the bidding, or maybe he messed up in somewhere? Because this is the ruling party guy. He is the ruling party guy. The ruling party uh, put him there. So why now the ruling party are the one dealing with him? You understand what I mean? Has he done anything bad that we don't know about? They should let us know. Because we know when they want to use you, it's, it's, it's a common thing. It's not as if what I'm reporting is strange. When you are for the party, you are clean as an holy ghost. You are clean. You are not stained. You are clean like a white cloth. You are as clean, you are as, clean as a white cloth. But when they no longer need you, need your services, or you are misbehaving, then you are as dirty as a black cloth. As a gutter that can compare you to gutter that you have seen. Of course, we know, guys. Well, we're still going to look and see exactly what happened with this case. This is exactly how it was reported. That's exactly how. That is just all I know about it. So let's leave our comment. Those of you who are familiar with Nigeria, who are familiar with Nigeria system, I know many of you guys are familiar with Nigeria system, with the EFCC and so many others, with the EFCC most especially. 
you know how they usually go for Yahoo boys. In fact, the the major the major duty of EFCC to go after politicians, government uh, uh, people who are holding or uh, government offices, when whenever they steal money or, or misuse money, they are meant to go after them. But now they are not focused on that any longer. The what they are focused on is on Yahoo boys. Before you know it, as soon as they go to an hotel, just park boys, we start doing proper investigation because there are some people they just come there to chill, to relax. They go to a club park boys they will just parade them they are all yahoo yahoo guys without proper investigation both the innocent and the guilty they will call them yahoo yahoo guys just because they want the federal government on nigerians to see that they are doing work all the international body out there to see they are doing work well leave your comment below guys so i didn't know it's a boy again yeah, i'm slink i'm always here to give you all the latest news or the latest gist and uh try as much as possible to follow me on instagram twitter and facebook have a wonderful day bye